sorry. Um, so uh, we are a unit and we call ourselves Cilium. Uh, in our unit, we've we've started with discovering what the word metaverse actually means, because we know that it's really on hype at the moment, and everyone is trying to use it, but and create something, but we don't really know what it is, what it should be, and how it feels like. So we ask ourselves questions like, what kind of digital presence and what kind of digital experience a metaverse should mean to everyone? And as architects designed for, human, for humans, for public, uh, also metaverse is designed for us, for public. So uh, we started with creating different metaverses, different worlds, and almost everyone, us here and also you, we are different worlds it could mean we are different metaverses, and everyone can bring something into this world. So we thought the metaverse, in how we interpret it, is an open source thing. And we can bring very interesting things, different mediums. It means that someone can bring an image, another person can bring, I don't know, a sound. And we can then maybe play with it and see what comes out of this. So this was our story, this, this was our process. We started with playing some games, and then we started to record them and play with the sound as well. So we are going to tell you a little bit more about the process. And we call ourselves Cilium, and the word comes from uh, mycelium, and it means a network that is growing. It's an endless network. Because we are so many people, and we believe that everyone can bring something into this world of metaverse. Yeah. And what interested us the most was because you had all these different worlds and right now you also have different metaverses that's, that are not connected to one another. So if you want to go from one metaverse to the other, you need to click on the X, restart it, and that's a very detached process because that's not what's happening in the computer because it's more than just a click. Um, so we were thinking about how could we create something that connect everything uh, to one medium uh, to transfer sound to a world and to transfer everything to like one medium um, that could be flexible enough to grow and um, to grow and grow and connect more and more and also to stop connecting some worlds if people don't go there um, and with that our uh, we came on the idea of like a growing network, almost like the mycelium uh, process. Um, um, and thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so basically we zoomed in and we wanted to know what's in between the walls. What's happening in the moving space between? It's not just yeah. one place and another. So for example, us, we're all different people. We meet at one place, then we go different ways again, like after today maybe. Uh, but we all take something from that. Um, but it's also a way of like translation. So we look like if a sound meets colors, what's happening? Because they can meet them. It's just about our individual, our individual interpretation of how this changes the eye. Um, yeah, that's what we would try to do with Show this. in our video yeah. as well. Okay, now we will show our uh, final result mm -hmm. video about how we see the metaphor. <laughs>
video goes into almost the in-between space of the metaverses and that it should be an interesting experience to go from one place to another to also like tempt people, make the end result more, exper uh, more interesting. It's almost like the, um, the adventure is more important than the end result kind of thing. Okay. Yeah. So we started with uh, three games. At, well, we started first with sketching and sketching and uh, thinking about what kind of games we should do. And our first game... Oh, these are the games. <laughs> yeah, we took something out of the games for our reality. Like we recorded us clapping, for example, and then we changed the sound into drops, into heartbeats, and that's what the sound was before. Like it was not a song, a finished song. We created every sound and sound. We and also, exactly yeah, we also let an AI generate the space for us. So we put keywords that were important for us, the network should look like. We put them in an AI generator and let let the computer generate the space for us. So yeah, thank you. Thank you.